Hello, my name is Kevin Green, and uh, I work in the Rohr Wegley Lab here at San Diego State. And so the goal of my project is to create coral stem cells. So if we think about our phylogeny here, so here are humans, here's us. Pretty close to us, we have mice. And all the way down here, we have a group called Nidarians. So that group consists of organisms called hydra, your jellies, and what we're interested in in the lab are corals. So two major distinctions of cell types in these organisms are either stem or somatic cells. So these are any cell type that's di fully differentiated. So such as your skin, your organs, and your muscles. You also have stem cells. So these are a cell type that can turn into any of these other ones. So either your skins, your muscles, or your organs. And these are termed pluripotent. So when you go and look for these stem cells in these organisms, we're able to find them in humans. We can find them in mice. We can also find them in hydra, jellies, but we have yet to find them in corals. So since we can't find them, I hope to create them. And so in 2006, researchers were able to take somatic cells from mice and induce this pluripotency. So we call these IPSCs. They're also able to do this in 2007 in humans, and hopefully I will be able to do it in corals. So the reason why I want these IPSCs is because we can go to coral reefs around the world and we can categorize the current diversity of these reefs by taking these cells, turning them into stem cells, and freezing them down. We can also use them as a stem cell line or a cell line to better study the mechanisms that corals use in response to elements such as heat or human impact. And finally, hopefully, one day we'll be able to use these stem cells to go to these degraded reefs and hopefully seed these reefs that have become degraded or have undergone these bleaching events around the world. Thank you. I think it's stopped, maybe, no?